The hard part is over. You've painted or stained your piece. Now we're going to talk top coats. What are you going to put on it so that it will last and look beautiful for years to come? Top coat does make a difference, but so does the paint you use. I only use DIY paint, and I am also a DIY paint retailer. DIY paint is a clay-based paint. It is all natural and has a wide range of colors. The first decision you need to make is do you want a top coat or do you want a wax? A liquid top coat will provide you instant durability once dry. I love DIY Big Top. It is a non-yellowing, all-natural top coat, super easy to apply, and usually you only need two coats. A lot of people are really scared to use wax, and you shouldn't be. Wax can give you a look that no other top coat can provide, and wax comes in a variety of different colors, which can really add depth to your piece. Please keep in mind that your finished piece with wax will need 30 days to cure. If you want a really protective top coat for your piece, my favorite is DIY's Big Top. It is a non-yellowing water-based top coat, really easy to apply, no icky fumes, and great protection. Let's get started. You don't need to prepare your surface at all. Once your paint is dry, I usually do wait 24 hours before applying my Big Top. I'm going to be using my sampler DIY brush, dipping in the big top, and then just applying it right on. When you apply your top coat, there is going to be a color change. That is the clay paint being reactivated. Don't worry, it won't stay this dark of a color. It will lighten as it dries. Once you are finished, make sure to check the edges and clean up any drips. While I'm waiting for my big top to dry on the top, the rest of this piece of furniture I'm going to be sealing with clear wax from DIY Paint. DIY Paint's clear wax is super luscious and creamy and all natural ingredients, no fumes, no smells. You really can't beat a wax finish. It just warms up the clay-based paint and makes everything super yummy. Here's my secret tip so you get a really great finish with your clear wax. Grab yourself one of these paper bags. They are the secret. You want to take your painted surface and rub your paper bag over it to polish it up before you apply the wax. Just trust me, this works. Try it, really try it. Now it's time for wax. Now notice when you apply the wax, the DIY paint is going to darken up just like it did with the top coat. Don't worry, it will lighten as it dries. Don't freak out. You can apply your wax with any brush or even a rag, but I have to tell you, the right brush really makes a difference. Paint Pixie and DIY Paint both sell amazing wax brushes, but my new favorite wax brushes are actually JRV stencil brushes that are sold from Paint Pixie. Because of their small size, they're great for getting into tight spots and for applying different color waxes. To purchase any of the products that you're seeing me use, you can shop my online store at shoptheturnedleg.com or if you're local, you can shop my booth at Plaza Antiques and Collectibles Mall in Lincoln Park, Michigan. What is your favorite top coat and why do you love to use it? Let me know in the comments below. Make sure you don't forget any section of your piece to coat it with wax. The good news is you can tell what hasn't been coated, not only by its look, but if you feel the surface, you will feel the difference. Once the wax has dried, you will need to give your piece another coat of wax. As you're waxing for the second coat, you might notice some spots darken, but it overall won't darken as much as the first time. The areas that are darkening are the areas that were missed or did not get enough wax in the first application.
Want to know the secret trick to getting a smooth finish on the top of your tables when you're using Big Tap? In between each coat, use a sanding block or sandpaper. Use 320 or higher. Sand it very lightly and then apply your next coat. This is going to make sure you have the smoothest finish possible. I have the sample board of wood because I'm going to show you all of the beautiful waxes in the DIY paint line and how they look. This side I painted in Hey Sailor DIY paint. This is Water Lily. First thing I'm going to do is put down clear wax all over the top. And then we're going to apply different color waxes so you can see what they do. It's really cool. Are you ready? I'm using a paper plate to offload my wax. That way I don't contaminate my wax. The reason you're applying clear coat first is when you're applying a colored wax, it will give you more control. And if you don't like how you've applied the color wax, you actually can erase it. You can even grab a little bit of clear wax and use it to erase the colored wax once you've applied. Now, you don't have to apply clear wax first. Experiment, see what you like best. Do you see those white lines? While I was waxing, I actually was waxing so forcefully that I removed the Hay Sailor and revealed the color underneath. Sometimes this happens and it's a nice surprise, sometimes not intended. If it happens to you and you don't like it, just paint over. Sometimes this can also happen when your paint is not dry. Make sure your paint is completely dry before waxing. Okay, now I'm using the dark wax. When you apply dark wax, I like to use my JRV stencil brush. You want to work a small section at a time. Remember there's clear wax underneath. And then you want to have some sort of a rag. Lint free is preferred so that you can wipe it back. And if you don't like it, you want to add more, go ahead, experiment with it to get it the coverage that you like. The last and most important step when waxing is to buff. I usually wait until the next day to buff. Make sure to use a lint-free cloth or a buffing brush and you will see the most amazing transformation take place. As you're rubbing, the entire piece will start to shine. Notice how the color wax accentuated all of the details of this piece. Isn't it amazing how much the color changes when you just add colored wax? This is a door that I painted in my studio and I challenged myself to use all five of the DIY waxes on it. How many colors do you see? Whether you want to use a clear wax to maintain the beautiful color of your piece or a hard top coat to protect it, I hope you're feeling a lot more comfortable with how and when to apply. You can also use white and clear wax as an accent colors on a piece like I did with this end table. Or you can use Big Top to seal stained wood pieces. For more information on how to stain wood the easy way, click on the video in the link. You also don't have to use a clear wax first. This lovely china cabinet was painted with little black dress and then I sealed it directly with white wax. Because of the color of the wood, which was a mahogany underneath, it ended up giving the whole piece a bluish tint. For this desk, I applied three different colors of wax to add depth and drama. The only rules with applying waxes is do what you like. Sample boards are great for learning, but ultimately 
you got to just play on the furniture pieces. If you don't like it, you can always repaint it. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like this video, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe. It'll help me to continue to make videos to help others to salvage, repurpose, and create. What are you waiting for? It's time to finish your projects.